Hey guys, Nick again from Grayscale Gorilla. I am the Gorilla, and today I got a quick video just about some keyframes inside of Cinema. Some things changed in 14. I got I kept getting some emails and Facebook uh, questions about it, so I thought I'd make this short little video. So let me show you what the heck we're talking about today. Um, in here, if you've used any Espresso rigs or, or uh, any of my light kit or anything like that, you may see these new ways they're displaying keyframes. And this is a lot different than typically they just have like these little dots over here. Uh, but as soon as you grab anything with an Espresso tag on it that has um, kind of its own user data or anything, you may start to see these different ways of showing a, how to uh, kind of record a keyframe and stuff like that. Now these work, I just like those dots. The only difference is, is they display uh, data that tell you that this is tied into Espresso. And this is important because this pops up all the time. If you're using something that's being driven by Espresso, and you don't know that it's driven by Espresso, it could be a little frustrating. So for example, uh, I have here, we have the uh, one of the presets from the Light Kit Pro, and uh, we have some Espresso tied to this overhead softbox, and let's say we wanted to um, uh, change the color or something of the texture. So we open it up and we go into luminance and we say, uh, let's make the color, you know, uh, green or red. And you go change it and holy crap, it's not working. Why isn't this working? It keeps jumping back to white. And this could be very frustrating if you didn't know now in 14 that, look, this is tied to Espresso. And in, in fact, there are two different icons. There is an icon that says that it's, this is the, um, input or this is the final r result of the espresso and then there's also an icon that says this is the um, this is the uh, driver so this is the driver icon this is the driven icon and if you ever see an icon with these triangles um, you you may want to just double check and see if you're getting some some um, kind of weird results trying to change a, a setting and it keeps bouncing back, well this means it's not being driven by these sliders anymore. It's actually being driven by these sliders. And if we turn this up and down, then it will change uh, our texture color. Uh, so I just want to make you guys aware of this. Uh, again, it's something that was changed and wasn't really talked about. And uh, hopefully now you guys know what the heck this stuff is. Uh, keep the questions coming, uh, especially the Facebook page has been really good about people asking just general questions, little simple stuff like this, and uh, having some people help them out and answer it. So I uh, hope to see you over there as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll uh, get a tuto another tutorial out to you real soon. And until then, we got uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire on the radio, so I'm going to go listen to that. Bye, everybody. Oh, now it's Hollow Notes. <laughs>